Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find Sagittarius Frame and Sagittarius Machine Rifle. Now Xenoblade 3 is still a relatively new game, so finding monster locations, collectible locations, material locations can still be difficult if not impossible. So hopefully you'll find this helpful or informative. I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but be warned there might be unintended spoilers, so be mindful and proceed at your own risk. Feel free to leave a comment what, on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you'd like to see as well. Also, if you know any other locations where you can find these particular mobs, please share in the comments below. Be sure to follow me for more or other Xenoblade 3 related content, or check out my Let's Play, which is included in the description below, and let's get started. So for Sagittarius equipment and materials, they can be fought and taken by Kavesi Levinuses, and they are particularly the ones with the shield and weapon. So those are the Sagittarius. The nice thing about the Sagittarius is I would find them from, let's say, once you go a certain portion into the game, there's going to be times when you have like a, a threat system, and that threat system, once that's unlocked, you'll have groups of Agnians and Levinus, uh, sorry, Agnians and Bessi soldiers and Levinuses throughout Ionius, right? So what you want to do is you want to find a group like that. Typically there's one up here in the forest region, but I'm going to show you here in a bit. You want to kill one. So for example, if you're farming Sagittarius, just kill one Sagittarius here. Like for example, kill this guy and hit follow the leader, pick up the items and just run away. So you killed the, the mob you wanted to kill, which was the Sagittarius Levinus. Once you're done killing him, just go ahead and reset. What's going to happen is they're going to run back and once they respond, everybody will respawn. That including the Levinuses, the Levinus that you just killed. So you see there that such a terrorist that we just killed has been respawned. So you can basically infinitely spawn these people. So all you need to do is just walk around Ionius where you know Kavesi drop forces are going to be. And if they have a such a terrorist with them, you can farm from that or whatever other materials you need to farm. This one I found relatively easily. It was at the beginning of the the area where you first started the game in the Torchlight Hills. It's just north, just right here. There's typically always a group, a Kabesi group here anyways, so that might be a good idea to check. But that is going to be it for this video, folks. Hopefully that was helpful and informative. Let me know what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see as well. And be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 content I do post daily, and I'll see you all in the next one.